Well, I just wanted to kind of um, uh, tell how I came across uh, the cervical dystonia. And, um, you know, for a while, for a couple of years before it really happened, I'd been really fit and would, would work out a lot. And um, I was, a lot of people, when they work out, they get into the habit of moving their neck to the side and to the other side to kind of loosen up the neck muscles um, because they tighten up when they're working out. So I would do that, and I didn't think much about it. But around August or September of last year, um, I was seeing that I was doing that much more often, and I was doing this kind of movement, and I was, but not to the other side. And I kind of figured it was part of the whole uh, just loosening up my neck muscles. But after a while, it started to feel like a really stiff neck that wouldn't go away. And so what I decided to do was go to a chiropractor, what I'd done in the past with when my neck would get stiff from lifting weights. And so the chiropractor just said, okay, fine, I didn't look much at it, and I told him, you know, I have a stiff neck, and so they would, that chiropractor did an adjustment on me, and um, I continued to feel a stiff neck, and over the next week or two of seeing that person every few days, it got worse, and it got to the point where I started to feel dizzy, and I figured that there was something really going on. And so I decided that, well, I need to see a specialist that's more serious than just a stiff neck. So in my mind, I thought, well, an orthopod would make sense. And I went to see an orthopod, we did the x-rays, and he wasn't very um, personable, didn't take a whole lot of time with me, and said, well, it's degenerative disc disease. And it didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. And when we were looking at the x-rays together, we saw that my, my neck, and at this time, it was a different, it was a tilting this way. It wasn't, the, it, was, it was a tilt that you could see in the x-rays. It's, your neck's even tilting. That's, that's, a, that's a habit. But I constantly was telling him throughout the uh, diagnosis on that same day that it wasn't a habit. But he was satisfied with his diagnosis. He said, you're going to go to uh, physical therapy. We're going to get you better. And that was it. So I kind of walked out of there not feeling really like he had listened to me, and I'm still thinking, well, how does that make my neck tilt? So I went to physical therapy for a couple of months and went back to see the same orthopod. And what he had also done is told me to go to um, an ear, nose, and throat doctor because I told him that I was feeling dizzy. The ear, nose, and throat doctor um, just did a real cursory review of me, looked at my ears, looked up my nose, um, and he said, well, you have, uh, you're getting dizzy because... Uh, your neck is tight. I said, do you think that'll go away when I went uh, through physical therapy? He said, he said, yeah. But it was the same type of thing where they weren't very personable, didn't take a whole lot of time, and it was just a really shallow review. Um, I also went to um, a general practitioner on that same day because the orthopod wanted me to make sure that my breathing was fine. Uh, that weekend before I saw the orthopod, my neck was really starting to tighten, and it felt like it was tilting and I had to fight against it and even when I would eat and swallow I felt pressure against my trachea and so that scared me and that's why I went to the, the GP and she again just looked at me um, I blew into a device that shows how strong my, my breath is and she said you're fine and so now I'm going to physical therapy for a number of weeks and it's getting worse and I'm looking in the mirror you know, day after day, and my head is still tilting. And it's, it's what got me was that it was just constantly tilted. And so being frustrated and having those hopes that we were taking care of the situations dashed because I was, wasn't seeing anything, any improvement, and I started to feel pain in those muscles and then throughout my entire neck, I finally just said, okay, i got to figure this out for myself. And I went to UCLA Biomedical Research Library and just started with my symptoms and went from there. And I came across um, the word torticollis. And online I had actually seen um, someone's story that dealt with that. But it wasn't tilted like mine was. It was twisted all the way to the side. And so I wasn't sure if that was the same thing. But I came across uh, dystonia. And that seemed to make sense to me. And that same afternoon, um, I had gone online to uh, Spasmatic Torticollis Association. I gave them a call and I said I need a neurologist in the Pasadena area, and they gave me Dr. Lisk's number. Um, I came to see him about a week and a half later, and um, he was great because 
every other doctor that had seen me really wasn't paying attention to me. And I, t I just asked him, can I tell you my story? Because nobody seems to be listening to me. And he said, sure, go ahead. And as a matter of fact, it was, I think it was on a Wednesday, uh, at the the la he was supposed to leave. But he was really nice enough to stay around and see me because I wasn't, I was scared, I wasn't sure what was going on. So he listened to my story and he says, I think it's dystonia. Uh, so Dr. Lisk uh, decided to get an MRI scan of the, the head and the neck just to make sure there aren't any surprises. And um, everything checked out fine, I, there were no issues. And when I came in to see him, he said, well, the best way to go um, are Botox injections, and I think we should proceed with that. Uh, so Dr. Lisk had um, decided that we should proceed with uh, botulinum toxin injections uh, into my neck so that the muscles that were tight could, um, could relax and could bring my neck back to uh, its normal, uh, normal neutral position. Uh, so over the next couple of months, we need to figure out exactly which muscles were tight and which weren't. And a lot of it, and he was great throughout this whole process, he knew exactly what to look for. And um, since there are so many small muscles in the neck, and you know the neck is tilting a certain way, and you need to figure out which muscles are the major players, uh, Dr. Lisk was, um, you know, we went through the process of finding out which ones were the major players, and he, he hit the exact ones over the next couple of months. And it's been about three months since I've been pretty normal. Um, I've received about, I think about three or four, I think about four uh, series of both of, uh, of, uh, of injections into my neck and um, as of now I feel great. Um, I even got to the point where I started going back to the gym again. I don't do anything for Dr. Lisk's uh, orders, I'm not doing anything above the neck and I'm being very careful, but I'm living life like it was before and um, I owe it all to him. He's been great. Dr. Lisk was, was great because when I had first come in to see him, um, I was really, um, really scared and I wasn't sure what it was. We are, after we got the scans of the neck and the head, uh, we understood that it wasn't anything serious like um, a tumor or anything like that, and which I was thankful for. Um, but because I had not really, nobody, no doctor had really focused on me, on my situation, um, I kind of felt like it was really impersonal and all the pain that I was going through, nobody else could feel it. Um, but when I talked to Dr. Lisk, he really took the time to um, help me with my situation. And when I came in to see him, I had really started crashing into a pretty severe depression. And I did get help with that from um, other types of doctors that, that deal with that, with psychologists and general practitioner who Dr. Lisk had recommended. But the main reason why I was so depressed was because I had this issue. I felt that um, being in so much discomfort and so much pain that my life as I had known it was over, that I'd never be able to um, be active again. It would, got so uncomfortable at some points so that I wasn't able to sit up normally. And even just sitting up like this was, was, it was, I remember having to sit up and when I was eating, I would be almost out of breath because it, it, it hurt and it was so distracting. The driving in the car was really uncomfortable because it was just always there and I couldn't, people would tell me to shell it and not worry about it and just, you know, we'll go through this and we'll get this taken care of, but it was so ever present and I couldn't get rid of it and only when I would lie down and be on my back would it go away. And I got, it got so bad I got, <clears throat> um, so really severely depressed and so what helped bring me out of that depression along with other um, help of other doctors was Dr. Lisk solving the problem that I had and doing it in a way that you know not only did the injections help me physically but just the way that he treated me he treated me like a person he understood what I was going through uh, emotionally but also he just really focused on what the issue was and what was getting my neck straight and, um, you know, we're very thankful to him for doing that, and I think he's great. I would recommend him to anybody.